So at this point, I'm pretty sure everybody has at least heard of Colleen Ballard's, uh, I don't really want to call it an apology video, excuse video that's framed as an apology. So if anyone like wants to hear about this more in depth, I suggest looking elsewhere because this is just me talking about it. This is not me going into the allegations. This is just me making fun of her apology video. That's it. I just want to know what was going through her head. <laughs> I feel like she took a lot of inspiration from Victorious. Um, I feel like she had to have because of that one iconic scene. He didn't say I couldn't say. Even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say. And then also, who the hell breaks out a ukulele? And it's like, yeah, this is gonna get me so much sympathy and love and also make it come across as so apologetic. <laughs> and then she made it a 10 minute video also. Like, if that doesn't scream, give me your money, then I don't really know what else does. But I mean, honestly, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have even known anything that was going on because my TikTok is full of uh the toxic gossip train all aboard the toxic gossip train and that initial remark about um her two persian cats the only thing i've ever groomed is my two persian cats i'm not a groomer i'm just a loser and i just want to know what was going through her head with that line in particular because it sounds like she pulled a shane dawson honestly it sounds like she pulled a Shane Dawson. Uh, I know that's not what she meant. I think. I hope. I hope that's not what she meant. But that's what it sounds like. <laughs> I actually haven't watched the video, but I have seen enough to know just how bad it is. Because, well, fuck me, right? Fuck me, right? <laughs> oh my god. God, how do you end an apology video with, well, fuck me, right? Because that is like the best way possible to get everyone to just look at you and say, what was the point of that? But I guess the point of that was monetization. <laughs> and it's, it's almost funny because like other scandals are coming out of the woodwork about it now. Nobody... Would even know about it people would forget about it if it wasn't for the toxic gossip train <laughs> god i wish i had a ukulele right now oh my goodness the absolute absurdity of some people is just wild honestly some youtuber apologies involve things like notes app apology sobbing your eyes out <laughs> Um, getting all up close to the f to the screen and saying something that is blatantly un untrue. Sometimes you just you just get blatant lies. But this one, this one, <laughs> this one person thought she was in a victorious episode. I can't. I just can't, honestly. Cause in ranking of the worst YouTuber apologies ever, this girl hit a new record. This girl hit a new milestone. This girl. Oh my goodness, this girl really said, I may not be the best person, but I will be the best <laughs> at making the worst apology ever. <laughs> I think it's circulating around TikTok just because of how absolutely absurd it is. This thing has been in my mind for the past like three days, honestly. Toxic gossip train. I find myself just thinking to myself, the toxic gossip train. The toxic gossip train. <laughs> Anyways, that's that. I just thought that shit was so funny, honestly. Like, it was the funniest shit ever to me. It really is.